Well, COVID-19 has driven more and more people to shop online, and that is expected to make today's Cyber Monday sales the biggest ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people spending that cash, mm -hmm. right? Tanya Francisco can tell us all. Did you buy anything yet, Tanya? That's what I want. She's right in front of the computer uh -huh. right now. I know not. her. <laughs> I'm in front of the computer, but yeah. I did not. I'm being honest here. But the retailers have been tempting people for weeks, much earlier than that simple uh, Black Friday or the Cyber uh, Monday. I mean, it's a lot earlier than years past, and it's adding up to big bucks for online retailers. Cyber Monday sales are expected to break an all-time record. Adobe Analytics predicts shoppers will spend a record-breaking $12.7 billion this year. The retailers like really started things super early this year. Kristen McGrath is an editor and shopping expert with the website BlackFriday.com. She says home electronics and gaming are big this year, along with health and fitness equipment and small kitchen appliances. It's really hard to get a KitchenAid mixer this weekend. A lot of a lot of stores put them on sale, but they sell out very quickly. So clearly people are in like that still in that pandemic baking stay at home state of mind. Online retailers started promoting deals long before Black Friday and Cyber Monday on into now what's being called Cyber Shopping Week. But that raises concerns about shipping and getting deliveries in time for Christmas. Many retailers are warning deliveries could be delayed, and that has opened the door to a new hybrid shopping situation where you order online and pick up in store or curbside. We've seen retailers from Walmart to Target to Sam's Club really revving up um, the number of employees that they have dedicated to like these curbside pickup options because it's pretty clear that that's going to be the option for like last minute shoppers this year. Now, it remains to be seen if these online sales will make up for the loss that retailers have been feeling in the brick and mortar stores. The National Retail Federation is calling on Congress to pass more aid to help these struggling businesses. Now, as at the point back to you, I'd like to know what you, Lourdes, and you, Ray, bought online today because oh. I know you two are shopping. <laughs> oh, I've been shopping all day. Just grocery shopping. Nothing, uh, nothing <laughs> beyond that yet, doggone All it. food. <laughs>